Speaking of focus today. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriella and this is Makeup Adventures with Gabby. Today is more like skincare adventures with Gabby. Talking about all skincare products, how I take care of my skin. I wanted to give you guys uh, more of a explanation on why I use things and why I like them so much. I have five, well actually six products that I use and some of them are more on the pricey side and other ones are just not as pricey. Actually everything is pricey, but that's fine. We're gonna get started right away. I don't really have much to say about today's video. There's probably gonna be a lot of echo and I decided to film it here because I do want to film in the room. I have to go back and forth here to just boom boom quick things. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the skincare, not the makeup, the skincare. Alright guys, so my hair is back. Put it in a little ponytail and first thing that I use to clean my face is these daily facial makeup wipes from Costco. I really like these ones to take off my makeup. I think they're really nice and they take off most of your makeup. Doesn't take it all off unless you use like four of them. And I don't like to use them on my eyes because it does kind of irritate them. But that's why I have another product for that. So we're gonna start with this one. And normally one wipe is enough for my face depending on the amount of makeup that I have. I have a decent amount today, so we'll see. And I always try and like, when I do this, is like full up instead of down, downwards. Can I ever speak when I'm doing this video? So you'll see how full coverage this foundation is. And I do bring it up into my, uh, this thing called a hairline um, because I do bring my foundation up to there, so. Jesus, why does my skin look so red? Maybe it's just the lighting. I've been using these wipes for the longest time. They're super cheap, there's like a box that comes with like 150 of them. It costs $15, well $16 at Costco, so. I definitely love this. I need to brush my teeth as well. Not like I need to know that, but now you do. I do bring it underneath my eyes. It doesn't affect it as much, but I didn't even have a lipstick. Well, I did have a lipstick, but it was all gone. I always bring it under my eyes for good things. So. Ow! Ah! Ah! That was half of my hair. I don't have to take everything off, but I do bring it down to my neck, so I clean my neck with this. So it looks a little bit like this. I don't know, but there you go. And then for my eyes, use the, I never know how to say this, but Micellar Water by Garnier. This one over here, and this one is the dry and sensitive skin one. Not that I have dry skin, but my eyes are very sensitive. What I put on them when it comes to like cleaning, like makeup remover things. Um, and this one is very good for my for my uh, my eyes. It doesn't irritate them. I don't feel like I can't see after. Or it doesn't make them oily or anything like that. So. I take a little thing jiggy and put, I put a good a good amount. I do use a lot of products on my eyes. And I just want I try not to be too harsh on my eyes because you know when you get older things don't work out. And normally I would do I would take off all of my makeup after work. I would get home and I would work out. But we just ate, so I don't think I'm gonna be working out until like 8, it's 7.30, well 7.15 right now, so. So yeah, and I use this, I use two of them, so I use one for each eye. And it normally takes off everything. And if you can hear that, my boyfriend watching Dirty John. 
because I started watching it without him and now he has to catch up because they deserve to be instead of watching it with us. Gotta do what you gotta do, girls. So like I was saying, normally I would do this and then I would work out and then do the rest of it, but I'm filming this video, I'm just gonna be doing it completely. The next pro product I use, it is the First Day Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleaner with Fab Antioxidant Booster, which removes surfaces, oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. It's safe for sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin. I have oily to com uh, combination, oily skin. I have combination to normal skin. You get very oily over here, my T zone, and I do have a little bit of dryness on the outer sides, like my cheeks, my under eyes are very dry, and I have like scarring. I have this like thing. Well, it's, it was a pimple. And that was just there and I didn't even pop it and I don't understand. I don't want to go away, but at least it's not like on my face. I have a lot of scarring from when I used to pop my sit and all that kind of stuff. I still do it sometimes because we all do, right, right, right? So I'm going to be using this over here. I am in love with it. I just got this one. I just still have a little bit left in my old bottle, so I'm going to use that. And normally it says to wet your face first. I don't really see a difference of wetting my face before. I actually put some on my hand and put about this much. And you're gonna be like, it's a lot, but it's actually not a lot because I've had this little bottle for like two months now. And I've been using it morning and night since. A couple days that I didn't use it because I didn't wash my face. Don't do that. And yeah, I just recently got a new one and I'm still not done with this one. I got it because I had a discount code. So, so I wet my other hand and then I just rub it together. So it kind of becomes foam and then I rub it on my face. So I do this all over, gently circles. Yeah, I didn't really say why I love that product so much, so I'm just gonna talk about it right now. So I really like this product because, well, first of all, since I started using it, I've honestly never seen my skin so nice, like ever in my life. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more water on my hands and rub it off. Like I was saying, I've never actually seen my skin so clear, and I get the normal pimples when it's that time of the month. I normally just get one and I have, I got this one and I think maybe it's because of that because at work I put my hand there a lot so I feel like that's what's causing this to not go away. Um, but I've honestly seen a huge difference since I started using it. I didn't react to it and I didn't have any breakouts. I do have a lot of like breakouts here but they're really tiny. They're more like blackheads. Yeah, it's cool. I'm not cold, itchy. So I do find this, it helps a lot with my oiliness over here. Um, it just cleans up my face so well and I love that. So that's why I love it. I just think it's really good product for my skin. And honestly, it's with skincare, it's trial and error. Er error, I can't even say that word. Trial and error. Error? Trial and error. Yeah, trial and error. That's a really hard word to say for me. I'm gonna take this off, I'm just gonna wash it off. Sometimes I find that I don't take off my eye makeup, not properly, but not properly. <laughs> and so after I do my face wash, I always go over if I see anything. Right now I'm not seeing much, sorry, just my dark circles, but I want to go over with a Q-tip and the micellar water, micellar water, words I can't say today. But like I was saying, with skincare products, you have to try them, and if they don't work for you, they don't work for you, and you move on to the next until you find something that works. Always use a different uh, face towel, a clean one. Never rub to dry, always pat to dry. Now I use, um, again from First Day Beauty, I'm seriously in love with this brand. I had used it before but I never really got used to actually washing my face often and this was when I didn't wear makeup as often as I do now. 
can definitely see I've seen a difference. Then for my like to tone and brighten and all that kind of stuff, I use the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance pads. It helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten. It's alcohol free and safe for sensitive skin. So it looks like this. Again, I don't have sensitive skin. I have combination skin. And I have some dry patches sometimes around here. It's just my square my skin gets the driest. So again, this I just do like circles. And I always go upwards because it helps with elasticity with your face. Every girl forever. And then normally there's still a little bit of makeup left. Not a lot, especially on my face. And also a disclaimer, I do not use this one on my eyes or under my eyes. Again, even if it's good for sensitive skin, I found the first time that I did it, that it kind of like burnt, it didn't burn my eyes, but it just wasn't a good sensation. Something that I shouldn't feel on my ass. So yeah, I always keep meaning to like take pictures in between where like I'm like in half of my process so it can be like my cover my thumbnail but I haven't done that yet and I also use this one for my neck and I find a lot of times that I always have a lot more product left on my neck than on my face Let's see go oh, it's a little bit more dirty definitely a lot more dirty all right so that's done. And today is Monday, which means I do a mask on my face. I haven't been doing this lately. I ran out of some of my products, which is why I think I have these breakouts over here. But I've also been under a lot of stress lately um, because I have a new job. So things have been like a little crazy and I'm still trying to like get used to this new routine that I have. So I've been breaking out a little bit. I normally break up up here, which is places that people don't see. Or there. So for this mask, I use this Mary Kay. It's part of their clear proof. I don't normally use Mary Kay products. I don't know them that well. But this one, it's another game changer. Like I love this one. This is a deep cleansing, cleansing charcoal mask. And you can do this up to three times a week. So when I feel like I, my skin needs a little bit more attention, I do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I normally do it during the week because it's when I use the most makeup. On the weekends, I try not to use as, as much makeup, but sometimes I do. So yeah, we're gonna use this one. And I'm going to take this little kabuki brush that I use for this. I'm also running out, well, I'm not really running out of this, but I'm almost running out of it. And I only use it where I have, well, like up here, on my nose, on my cheeks, a little bit out of my face, and on my chin. I put it all over my face. Well, technically I do, but I don't know. One time, I spray this on my eye. And that's not fun, guys. Let me tell you. You wanna spread it out evenly. Oh, go up to there. I could probably make it a little bit, I could probably make it a little bit thicker. We'll see how it ends up looking. There we go. Yeah, I can definitely build this up. You want a pretty thick layer, oof, layer, layer of this, and you put it where you have the most problems with your face. I'm gonna try and put it down here because how oh, that sit, that just doesn't want to go away. Oh, huh. this is where an advance would be useful. Should I got? Don't put this on your hair, by the way. Like not on your roots or your eyebrows. I did that once and it was just a little bit and I think I lost like some of my hair. Okay, so my camera's dying. So I'm gonna go and plug it in. You leave this for about 15 to 20 minutes. I normally leave it for 15 and then you can rinse it off. So I'll be back in 15 minutes. All right guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. 
maybe 14, I'm not really sure. But this is what it looks like once it's dry. Clearly there's still a little bit, it's like almost dry. Can't really make facial expressions with this, so this is great. Anyways, um, why is it so low? Perfect earlier. Uh, so this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna go a little bit closer to you guys so you can see my pores. Okay, just, just look at them. So this is what it looks like once it's dry. And you can tell like this is where I have the most pores. And like it really cleans them up in here too. A lot on my forehead and my nose. And I don't know why it's not dry yet, but it's okay. We're gonna wash it off anyways. I normally wash it with like warm water, not like super warm, but not cold, like in between the water. I don't know. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna be right back. And I'm just drying it up with that same towel. I don't know if it's a bad thing, but it hasn't done anything to me. So anyway, so this is this is my face after that. And I just feel like it like cleans everything out, makes my skin very smooth. I feel like it dried that out a little bit too, so we'll see. Dry my hands. Oh yeah, and then there was a change of wardrobe because we're gonna work out soon. So I was like, if I don't put my clothes on now, I'm never gonna work out. I gotta work out. So well, here we are. And now for moisturizer, I actually use this serum as a moisturizer. I always watch these videos on like Instagram and YouTube and they use like a billion different serums or like the little drop things from Farsali. Can't really afford that right now. This was already pretty expensive for me, so. Um, but one day maybe I'll use them. I've never tried them, so we'll see if they work with my skin. But for now, this is what works. They also have a moisturizer with this one, but I've never actually tried it. it this came with like, I'll tell you like how I got into this brand. I basically got like a, a gift set from Sephora during the Christmas time, and it was the Ski Summit set. It came with all of these products that I've used today except for like the wipes and the micellar water and the mask that I just used. I, I've been using it since and I honestly love it and I love the difference between before I used to use like a normal moisturizer now I use a serum and I definitely see a huge difference especially when I want to wear makeup and stuff so let's say in the morning I wash my face I do the same things that I just did minus the mask but I use this serum, which is the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. Finish, smooth, and softens your skin. Also safe for safe skin. Safe skin. Also, also safe for safe skin. Safe for sensitive skin. So I usually just, just use this. I don't use any moisturizer or anything. I also have a eye cream, but I don't have it with me right now. It's a uh, on its way and I wanted to wait for it so I can give you guys a full skincare but I also didn't want to wait for this video any longer because I just really been wanting to do it every time I take off my makeup and I start doing this I'm like oh I should be filming this but anyway so we're gonna use like about a pump so about that much clear it's not heavy it's very like it's kind of like a gel like a very liquid gel and I just I just love it and I always start with my nose because it's where I get the oiliest and then I work my way out all right guys so this is my skincare routine I can't really say anything else I hope you guys enjoy this normally it's the other way around if you have any more questions, again, don't hesitate to ask. If you have any other brands that you use and that you think I might, I should try later on, I will definitely take up some suggestions on your favorite skincare. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to share this video out into the world. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.